O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Now the heavens have been opened and they shine on the earth. Seraphim is among us. As he embraceth all with joy, by his life of mighty works accomplished through faith, he calleth us men of birth to become sons of God by grace. O saints of God, intercede in our behalf, let your sorrow find its solace, let your hearts leap for joy, seraphim bring it blessings. He who hath borne the cross of Christ, which transformeth grief to joy, now cometh in love to comfort and strengthen us, that we nobly might follow him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My sweet Saviour's resurrection is confirmed to the world. Seraphim is the witness. For having crucified the flesh, he raised up his soul by grace to newness of life, and shone brighter than the sun with the light of the risen Christ. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. All the hopes and aspirations of the whole race of man, thou hast fulfilled, O Virgin. For when thou gavest birth to God, thou didst end the reign of death that tyrannized all, and lead us up to the joy and from it to the life on high. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Let God arise and let his enemies on this day be scattered in fear and shame. For as a king upon his throne, so the Lord is in seraphim, striking terror into miscreants, but gracious to suppliants. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf, through many years of arduous ascent, thou hast gained the heights of humility, the full obedience of love and a godlike simplicity, and to multitudes of monks and nuns, this thou show the way on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In gladness Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John have received their fellow evangelist. For that which they portrayed in words, thou in deeds madest manifest. God incarnate, life upon the earth, confirming believers hearts. Thou is ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. There is no noble deed or miracle greater than the work that was wrought through thee. The everlasting is a babe, and an infant the infinite, who uniteth heaven with the earth, and me with the hosts on high. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Thy soul was a psaltery, thy whole life resounded with unceasing songs unto Christ. In hardship and suffering, thy hymns of thanksgiving went up to the throne of God, a pleasing sacrifice. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. The coin of his virgin was stamped with the image of the cross and death of the Lord, and with it he purchased the kingdom of heaven by bartering earthly things for everlasting life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy patient with glory, like Moses the prophet, with the brightness not of this world, or high on the slopes of thy master's commandments, didst thou walk, O seraphim, and didst commune with God. O now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Invisible bondage oppresseth thy servant, making me a captive of sin. Release me, O lady, through thy mediations, directing my troubled soul to find the peace of God. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Though thy whole life was hid in self-denial and want, after death thy relics were brought forth in majesty, and royal hands solemnly carried thee, who didst thyself bear up the land with thine entreaty. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf, the beast that thou didst be bear witness unto thy grace, and thy spring which made many well show thy holiness. 
Thy lamp when quenched burst into flame again, all earthly things serve thee, and whom dwelt the Creator. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. If unto them that knew thee not thou camest in dreams, healing them, O Father, and guiding their souls in Christ, then unto us who know and long for thee, kindly draw near, bringing us comfort and salvation. O now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O Virgin Mother, work in me a sign unto good, let all them that hate me behold and be put to shame. O blessed good, whence all my hope doth spring, in thee I trust fully with heart and understanding. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf, O ego, winged with fiery pinions of prayer, overlook not thine incapable nestlings, neglect not them who are prey to the beast and who yearn for thee, where thou art, we cannot fly, come to us in thy mercy. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf, the splendor which illuminated thy face, showeth openly the grace and the glory, bestowed by the very Father of light, yea, and be dead is, that he shine bright as the sun, whom the Lord giveth sonship. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the casket, gaping in the midst of thyself, shut the way to worldly thoughts and affections, but open to one compunction of heart and a flood of tears, and in dying to the world thou abodest in heaven. O now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Committed both in soul and body to Christ, thou in sickness didst not look to physicians, nor vengeance is thy desire when assailed, and the Queen of all, who had loved thee from thy youth, was herself a physician. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf. What comfort for our souls is a man of God, who guideth in heaven's will, lighting all our paths, who doth confirm the words of Christ with his struggles, his marvels, his love to all. O seraphim, keep us all in remembrance, and guide us in the ways of peace. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf, what triumph shall we honor with higher praise, the standing a thousand nights awaiting war through prayer, or that in peace and fear of God thou dost lay down thine axe and await the thieves. Through God thou hast found thee smitten the devil with wounds that are incurable. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy body, which was battered with truces wars, concealed in itself a soul strong enough to bear the very fiercest of assaults from the powers of wickedness till thine end. Thy youth was renewed within as the eagles by reason of thy love for Christ. O thou in heaven and unto the ages of ages, amen. O lady, like her womb is a firmament, more beautiful than a sky, fully lit with stars. O ever virgin bride of God, and the moon is thus fairer than thy blameless soul, for from thee the sun of righteousness shone forth, incarnate on the race of man. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf, Clothe us with thy prayer as an invincible armor, and lead us in the battle to overcome them that hate us with the weapons of light, that with thee we all might cry out triumphantly, O worshipful Trinity, holy, holy, holy. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Blessed are the eyes which have seen what thou sawest, for many kings and prophets, though they desired, have not seen them. But while yet in the flesh thou beheldest wonders strange and ineffable, 
which only they seek who have become as little children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, since thou bearest daily the prayers of the faithful, and gavest consolation and words of life unto many, be not vex even now, but assuage your sorrows also, O seraphim, who knock at the door of thy mercies as we praise thee. For now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Not as having brought forth a saint or a prophet, but as the very mother of God, the King of the ages, was upraised by the saint, and more glorious by far than the seraphim, and thou didst exalt him, O Lady, for his virtue. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf, how brightly thou shinest in the new Jerusalem. The glory of the Lord is risen on thee forever, O seraphim, with the joy no tongue can tell. Thy struggles are recompensed with light, thy toys have found their wages. Thy trivials are turned to rest, thou hast been made God like. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf, O steward of mercies, in the holy house of God, whose access to the King is never hindered, whose prayer is fulfilled at once, O our Father of Seraphim. Remember us, paupers, pouring grace, who hope in thy compassions, ever speak in our behalf with thy gracious Master. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with Catherine and Barbara, with Marina and Irene, with Hecla, Dorothea, and Macrina, and all them of Seraphim, who came heralding thine end. The Baptist and John, the bosom friend, and with the Theotokos, bring us safely through this life to the long for kingdom. O now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Since he that is mighty hath done great things unto thee, our long-rejected nature is united, and reconciled unto God, O our Lady, full of grace. Our ancestors fall and set aright, and all we generations, as thyself is prophesied, ever call thee blessed.